Hey buff dudes, buff girls. Here we are at the future buff dude gym. Now it doesn't look like much. In fact, look around you. It's a mess. But over time, we're gonna change this into a gym. A home gym built by us, the buff dudes and the buff girls. And together we'll make this an awesome place where we can work out in the privacy of our home with the music we want to listen to, the posters we want to see, and all those other things. And, the, and of course, the basset hound that we want here is our work. That's my workout partner right there. Samson, what do you think of this? <coughs> I know, the future home gym of the buff dudes. Look over here and we can see a diagram of the future buff dudes gym. That's the room we're seeing here. That's the layout of this room. As you can see, it's unfinished. We got a lot of work to do, but that's the exciting part. Some of the tools we're gonna to be using, some sheetrock. We've got a sheetrock that wall. We gotta tape it using these tools. We're gonna to texture it, and then we're gonna paint it the classic buff dude colors. This is really exciting. We're gonna be doing something special down here, building a buff dude body. So, Lieutenant James sent some really good suggestions email. We're going to be using those. We're going to be using other suggestions as well. So send them in. We don't have a lot of room, remember, so we're going to try to max this out to get a really good exercise room down here. Come on. we got to start the Buff Dude Gym. There goes the first sheet. Love this tool. Call the bazooka. An easy way to tape drywall joints. Now we're going to fill it with mud and tape the angles. You already taped the flats with fiberglass tape. This makes it a lot easier for the angles. So let's get to it. Now, buff dudes, buff girls, the 12 inch drywall box to put the finishing coat of drywall mud on these seams. Let's go. Drywall bad. Well, we're real close to finalizing this and putting some paint on it. But before we do that, we're gonna do something on the ceiling. That will be, as our French buff dudes and buff girls say, the piezo de resistance. We're gonna use hawk and a trowel. We're gonna put some other We're gonna do a little skip trowel. So, let's get started. I'm gonna go over it one more time with the trowel, just kind of smooth it out. But that's how it kind of looks. It's really good to cover up a bunch of rough stuff on the ceiling, which I wanted to do because I just don't have time to flush the ceiling out and make it real nice. We're gonna go ahead and leave the walls smooth and paint them right away because we have the buff dude, Hudson coming on Wednesday and this is Sunday, so. We gotta get this done so we can start building some exercise equipment. So I'll go over it one more time as it's drying. Before it dries, kind of smooth it out, take the little chunks and the hanger downs things and the, the grid out of it, and it'll look pretty good. It'll paint up easy with a, a roller and paint and with a little heavier nap to catch the rougher texture. And then you'll be seeing it in the process when the paint goes on. Oh my gosh, 
It's the buff dude colors. It's beautiful. Got the Buff Dude logo done. Thanks to Diane, the Buff Mom. You may know her from the weekly blog on the Buff Dude's website. Got the Power Act done. Yeah, love that. And not to mention the bench. So stay tuned for episode two when we fill this gym with the greatest exercise equipment built of all time. And stay buff. All right, dudes, got all lumber down here. It's time to start drilling those holes.